Hello, and where am I now? Well, I'm in front of St Mary and St Nicholas Chapel at Lansing College. You will know from my other video that I'm with Steve, uh, Cynthia, Laura, Rich and uh, Lynn. So we've just been into, the, uh, just about to go into the chapel, I mean, and have a look round to see what we can find. So let's go. Immediately you've got this scene in here, look at this. Wow. Look at this. Oh my word. Goodness me. This is just incredible. Oh wow, look at this, look at the organs, organ pipes. And you've even got horizontal organ pipes coming out at the bottom. So we're looking towards the east end here. And we've got the, the north aisle and south aisle. It's, I think the words Lynn used just now was breathtaking, and it absolutely is. And look at the window, look at the window above those organs, uh, those organ pipes. That is just amazing, beautiful. Just here, this <coughs> memorial plaque or stone in the ground in memory of Olivia Chase, a pupil of this college who died on the 25th of May 2004. Oh gosh, age 15. Oh dear. And we've got these, this organ as well, and the pipes. So this is the north aisle, very much the same as the, the nave, but with these rather lovely um, plaques or with pictures of Christ on. And then we've got this one here, the Holy Family. After Sebastian Del Piombo, in brackets, Luciana, 1485 to 1547. Another one there. That's that's an embroidery, beautifully done. And there's a so we've got a, a this is the the north aisle with its own chapel. And it says, please do not enter the sanctuary. And a beautiful stained glass window there. And then we've got this booth. And I don't, so I've got no information about this at all. So I don't know what this is, whether it's for private prayer. Just there, but I'm not going to step inside it. That would be wrong. Just look at that, that's amazing. Let me just have a look over here, but it looks like we've got a chapel as well. 
in the south aisle. And again, I'm guessing this is saying about the sanctuary, which it has. There are some rather interesting brass plaques on the floor. Uh, Mark Napier Trillo, Bishop of Korea, 1911 to 1930. I can't, it's difficult to reach across to read the others, but we've got the, the piscina there in the corner, which is beautiful. And again, look at the stained glass windows. And then again, we've got another little booth again, perhaps a, for personal prayer, private prayer, prayer. And we've got a tomb there, Nathaniel Woodward, a priest, founder of St. Nicholas College, born March 1881, it says there. And I now want to go up to the, to the, again we can't unfortunately go beyond this point. But we're now in the chancel area. And just look at these embroideries at the back there. They've got to be 25, 30 feet high. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know whether you would call these a sedilia seat. We've got one either side. But there are wooden benches around. They could be classed as sedilia seats, I presume. But I've just noticed through this opening past this seat in the corner, there is a piscina as well in a corner of the North Chapel at uh, North Isle. But what takes your breath away is the height of the building. Just look at this. Absolutely incredible. We will try and get some information that we can bring to you. That's absolutely stunning. Let me have a look back this way. Just look at that. Isn't that incredible? We've just no I didn't know what these pews were called, if you call them pews or benches, but these are actually priest seats, certainly those two at the back are, and also on the north side there's a priest seat that side, but the, the workmanship in, in these seats, again we're guessing these are priest seats, is just incredible, absolutely incredible. There's different designs, different designs on this one compared to the other side. Let's have a wander down through this, this south aisle. We've got this large portrait of St. Peter. Lansing Chapel, the history. As I said, we will try and find out some more information. And we've got what looks like a very simple little font just here. Very plain stonework. But it's really set away from the rest of the Rest of the chapel, again, another beautifully painted ceiling. And that in there is where the verger goes. And there's a, <coughs> a stone set into the floor here. Uh, Desmond Tutu stood here to dedicate this window to his friend, 
Trevor Huddleston, 22nd of May, 2007. And this is the window. Well, Rich has just said this is all open down here. So let's go down and have a look. We've got this bench here. More steps to go down. Oh wow, look at this. All lit up. And you've got this here, the Christ lifting of the cross. Another one there. Which is the depicting by the looks of it where they're beating Christ, where he's carried his his cross on his back. Beautiful, look at that. This new art school was opened by Professor A. E. Richardson, PRA, 1st of June 1955. And this is, it says, the Bedford Studios. Look at that tapestry there. And we've got these, this screen, and it says along there, in grateful remembrance of Canon Arthur Rupert Brown Wilkinson, Provost, 1944 to 1961. Absolutely stunning. You really don't know where to look. Remember the comrades who fell in the South African War, 1899 to 1902? Several different brass plaques. Another one here depicting where someone has taken the, the cross off the Christ's back and is carrying it for him. There's several of these on the walls all around. Oh my word, this is just amazing. More brass plaques to my left hand side. And then we come into this other little chapel. This chapel is reserved for silent prayer. prayer. Just look at that, isn't that wonderful? And then we come into this bit here. Oh, and these are separate little chapels. Look at this portrait here on the wall. Absolutely beautiful. If you look up at this, the ceiling, the ceiling reminds me of way, but the way the design is of Waverley Abbey near Farnham. And then again, look, another separate little chapel. Then I've got a, the, the Lancing Roll of Honours with pictures of pe famous people. Then we've got this chapel here. Let's have a look around the corner here. Again, look, another one of Christ. It looks like the disciples are about to um, wrap him up in his cloths. And again, look at this, uh, this other separate little chapel. It doesn't say we can't go in, so I am going to. But look at this altar made of stone, stone and marble. Look at that. A piscina in there. And possibly a little ombre behind that curtain. I don't know, I'm not gonna to touch it because that wouldn't be right, I don't think. A stone screen around as we go in and out. 
just there, the stone screen with a black gate. And then we come into this much bigger um, chapel. We've got a piano here to my right hand side. And a very plain stone altar just here, but set out on this raised plinth all the way round. Again, more wood effigies, I suppose they would call. And this is a piscina set into the wall with a figure of Christ set into it. And then all these separate chapels have got stained glass windows to them. Look at this. The light is probably not very good, so I'm not going to be able to pick up everything. That's Mary with the baby Jesus. Just look at this. Isn't this amazing? And I'm looking back now from the, the sort of chancel area into the nave of where, about where I, where I came in. So I'm, I'm assuming we're underneath the east end of the church, of the chapel, I mean, which would be directly above us. Well, we've all had a look round um, St Mary and St Nicholas Church. A chapel, I beg your pardon, chapel. And just here, as I come out, got this stone was laid by Rear Admiral Sir Robert Nathaniel Woodard to inaugurate the completion of the Chapel of St Mary and St Nicholas 17th of September 2011. The others have gone out they've gone on ahead so I'm just going to do an ending piece all on my own. So this will be Kevin saying bye bye and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye, bye. <laughs>